Hello Cancer, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. Um, this is your all reading for the 6th through to the 12th of December 2021 um, or thereabouts. Um, please take what resonates with you and leave anything that doesn't behind, um, perhaps for somebody else. Um, but I have pre-shuffled the cards to get your energy into the cards, Cancer. Um, so just a final shuffle now. Um, but just to say to the general reading, so, um, you know, take, take what resonates. Um, but, um, you know, there's lots of storylines even concerning just people born under the sign of Cancer. Um, so this, these readings hone in on particular storylines. But it's, the energies are there to a greater or a lesser degree for you, uh, Cancer. Okay, let's see. See what we have. Start your reading. Okay, um, right, so first of all, we've got number 16. Um, and this talks about um, distance. Perhaps um, feeling a bit isolated. Um, needing to gain a perspective, a different perspective perhaps, or trying to get a better understanding about something that's being presented to you. Um, all right, so let, let's have a look. What else? All right, we've got number 25. And this talks about things being a bit misleading. Um, illusion, confusion, it's that sort of an energy. Um, and I can see why this uh, uh, links, links in with perspective here. So um, how you can see something, how you are looking at viewing something, understanding something, Cancer. Um, for some of you, it, it may be there's, a, there's some form of an illusion or a delusion now. Uh, and a, perhaps a need to change how you look at something. So let's see. That's interesting. Let's see what else. So a final shuffle of the Anake Tarot. All right, so we have the heart of your reading, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward, and then something else your guides would like to say to you at this time. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Four of Rods. Um, all right, this is this is company. This is people being on the same page, setting out on a journey together, perhaps on an adventure together. But people who have got the same interests, um, the same understanding, you know, it's that companionship. Um, where you don't even have to be explicit with what you're thinking or um, with what your values or, or opinions are because people are, you're all on the same page as each other. All right. Um, it can be very much about family connections also, togetherness within a family uh, or a home situation. But let's see, I'll just put that to one side. And um, just do another shuffle, just to get some clarifiers, clarifying cards on the table. And we'll just lay them down in the same order. There we go. All right, yes, yeah, so at the bottom of the deck we have the moon energy. Um, now this is very much uh, your energy. This is your, um, this is your planet. Cancer. This is your ruling planet, is the moon. So here you are, you've come out here. But th this moon energy is also about when things are a bit in the dark. You see, we've got the new moon, and, and of course we are still in the energy of the new moon um, now. Uh, well, it was, I think we had the, the beginning of the new moon was yesterday. So, you know, it's very much in the energy of the new moon here. Um, but, you know, it casts a little bit of light, but there's lots in the dark, in the shadows here. So there's something something unclear. And, of course, we've seen that, haven't we, here with, with illusion and delusion and confusion. Um, 
So it doesn't really surprise me that, you know, this is saying, this is how, for some of you, how, how you're feeling at the moment. And I feel it's to do with, it's something to do with um, perhaps family, community connections um, and how you're going forward. Okay, let's see. At the heart of your reading, Cancer, we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay. So something is very much taking its time to get to you, um, so far as being able to refill your cup of love, of emotion, you know, to have that new opportunity, that new beginning that's meaningful for your heart. But it, it just, for some of you, it feels like whatever was on the way, it's sort of come to a, a, a full stop, it's come to a standstill. Now, that could be to do with, um, it can be to do with money, um, what you have um, to, meet, to meet yours and your family's needs perhaps, or perhaps there's some, some form of money coming in, but it's it's come to a standstill it's you know it's it was coming in very slow anyway but at the minute it feels like it's come to a bit of a standstill um but it's it's to do with it's something to do with something that's meaningful for your heart for your heart center so it's either something to do with um money uh, an inheritance a gift um for others, you know, it could be something to do with work and career and uh, and uh, uh, money. Um, you know, that raise you've been waiting for. Um, but that just doesn't doesn't seem like it's going to be coming in anytime soon. Um, so that's for some of you. So, you know, take it how it resonates with you. But whatever it is, it was promising new opportunities for for your heart. Let's see if we can get more information for you, Cancer. At the root of this, we have the Four of Swords and the world. Um, the Four of Swords is when you, you've, you've had to have a rest or somebody's had to, needed to rest, have a break, um, be looked after. And we've got the medicine bottle and the spoon here. So, you know, for some of you, you could have been ill, it had been unwell, uh, energy being depleted. Um, because with the world, it, there's, a, there's been a completion of some form of a cycle. An ending that needed to come to an end, ready for a new, new beginning. All right. Um, so take it out, it'll have a different meaning for all of you, uh, Cancer. So this is at the root um, of this situation, where there's been a need for a time of recovery um, because of for some form of a completion. So what's happened in the past, the past influences, we have the Five of Rods and the Wheel of Fortune. We've got some major players coming out here on the table um, with the moon, the world, and now we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So past influences, the Five of Rods, this is a combative energy. This is um, competing um, to have your opinions or their opinions. So it's differences of opinion here. And of course, you know, right at the beginning, we had something about distance and, and a perspective you know, being able to see something in a different way, different perspectives. Um, and here it is, the Five of Rods. Um, conflict, disagreements, arguments, everybody wanting their perspective to be heard or somebody needing their perspective to be the one that's, that's heard, that's listened to. All right. Well, the clarifier is the Wheel of Fortune and, and this is... Um, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny moving. Um, so as this wheel has started moving in the past, you know, bringing in change, and we've seen that with the world card also in the past. 
So these are significant energies for you, Cancer, for some of you. So for some of you, this wheel of fortune and destiny has been turning, started to turn. But I feel it's created um, conflict. It's created conflict and perhaps brought to the surface differences um, between yourself um, and somebody else or, or others. And it's because this wheel of fortune started turning, moving, moving situation on. And these are significant. It's a significant change here. And see, change doesn't all isn't always conducive to harmony within uh, relationships and the community. Because we've seen here at the root of it how um, whatever this completion is, it's it's left somebody with a, a depleted energy needing to rest and recover. And of course, those energies have led on to something that was on its way, but stopping and probably a result of this completion and the wheel of fortune turning. So something came to a grinding halt to do with your heart center, to do with what was promising to be a new opportunity to do with the heart. All right, so what's on your mind at the moment? Cancer. Well, we have the Six of Cups and we have the Two of Pentacles. And yes, the Six of Cups, this is nostalgia, um, thinking about the past, either thinking about somebody, um, you know, it's, it's about connections from the past, remembering, memories, remembering. Um, it could be about wishful thinking as well. Um, but it's definitely to do with a connect connectivity that's been around, you know, for, for quite a long time. Um, but then the Two of Pentacles, this is um, having to juggle different perspectives, different energies, but making light of it and, and others looking on and being quite impressed with how you're able to juggle these different energies um, and keep going. Um, but for yourself, you felt you have been juggling um, different energies to do with connections and connections that have been around for quite a long time but but for others trying to make light of it all right um this is interesting so going forward what have we got going forward for you well we have the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles okay The Three of Pentacles, this is about putting the finishing touches to something you've been working very hard on, something you've been building up, Cancer, something you've been creating. Um, going forward, you are going to be putting the finishing touches to this. It's like putting the final piece of a jigsaw in place and then you get the complete picture. Um, and the Clarify, the Ten of Pentacles, it's a very abundant, abundant abundance within a family situation having everything you need to have your needs met, um, feeling, living very comfortably. It's a fantastic energy here. And this is what you're working on. This is what you're going to be putting the finishing touches to, Cancer. And I feel that whatever this is, that seemed to just come to a standstill with no, no movement, and I feel that's going to change. You know, that may be how things are at the, mo at the moment, but that's going to change going forward. Things are going to pick up a pace um, and you're going to be able to complete what, you, what you've started. Um, all right, so all the juggling that you're doing at the moment that you're thinking about, um, you're going to be able to get one of those pentacles there and, and put it into place to complete this picture. So things, you know, although I can see there's been endings and um, things have been moving on for you, that's been quite difficult, I feel. It's created conflict within a relationship or relationships. Um, and it's, it's depleted your energy somewhat. However, um, I feel with a different, a, a different perspective, looking at something a bit differently, 
um, you're going to move on from whatever illusion and delusion has been around, whatever has been uh, hidden by this new moon energy. Um, and, you know, going forward with others who are on the same page as yourself could be, could be to do with the family, um, but it doesn't have to be. And I and I'm looking at the six of cups again, um, you know, memories of the past. And it perhaps is that you've had to adjust your perspective now about those memories. Um, that could have been creating illusions and delusions for you. But it's moving on now, moving on from the shadows now. Okay, so some good omens for going forward for some of you now. Completions and abundance, you know, coming in. You still, there's still a bit of work to do, and, and I've, I've been told to say that. There's still a little bit of work to do to get that final piece in place. But there's great promise there. So what would your guides like to say to you? Right, fantastic, Cancer. We've got the Eight of Rods and the Sun. Um, the Eight of Rods, this is a, a message coming in. There's a, information going to be going to be delivered. Um, and I feel whatever this is that has come to a standstill is going to get going now. And, it, and that information is going to come in. And it could well be that that's the information you're waiting for um, to help you to put the final piece into um, this beautiful stained glass window here um, and sun yeah the sun is the most joyful optimistic card in the in the major arcana it's another major arcana in the tarot and this is this is promising new opportunities new beginnings the sun brings warmth warmth doesn't it uh, and growth and expansion uh, and that's what the sun and that's what this message um is bringing in for you. I feel the sun also sheds light, doesn't it? And it could be whatever this message is, this information is, it's going to shed light on um, this situation, but a situation that is promising um, abundance and expansion and um, good opportunities. It's a very joyful card as well, the sun. You, you know how you feel in the, in the summertime when it's warm, um, and the sun rises and you feel the warmth on your face. You know, and that, that feeling of excitement and new opportunities. All right, so beautiful reading there for you. And I feel these are the energies that the new moon at this minute and the solar eclipse, of course, you know, these energies are very much to do with um, what the solar eclipse has brought in for some of you. All right, um, okay. Right, could we have two, two new messages, please, for cancer? Two new messages for cancer, please. Cancer. Well, we have joy and delight, and this is what the sun brings in. Open your heart to joy. Um, so yes, this, this is a beautiful um, sun energies that's going to bring in a light, uh, shed light on a situation, uh, but also it's going to be bringing in warmth, optimism and joy. So be ready to open your heart up to that cancer. Um, now we've also got narrow pathway, so tread thoughtfully. All right, so this isn't you know, the energies are fantastic on the table, but you still, this means you've still got to apply yourself. You've still got to, you know, do the work, walk the walk, if you like, but tread thoughtfully. You know, you don't want to um, fall off the, the pathway, if you like. 
through being too hasty perhaps or um, making a wrong decision so think think carefully look at the small print um, as you're going forward um, but the pathway is there for you but it's just taking your time don't rush I feel don't rush um, into whatever this is um, just take your time give some thought to each step as you go forward cancer all right okay right I'm going to leave it there um, whoever this was for I hope you've you've enjoyed the messages that have come out um, so good luck going forward and until the next time, bye bye for now.